Hi everyone, I am here with your 812 lesson, what is a typical value, choosing mean or median. You're exposed to a huge amount of information every day in school, in the news, in advertising, and in, and in other places. It helps to have tools to be able to understand what data means. Today you will turn your attention to what you can learn from the data. <clears throat> so, we're going to take a look at 812 to start. In lesson 114, you examined results of the Calaveras County Frog Jumping Contest. You saw that in 2009 competition winner jumped 20 and a half inches farther than the 2008 winner. Do you think that the winner in 2009 was a special frog, or were the frogs in 2009 better jumpers in general than the frogs in 2008? With your team brainstorm ways that you could compare the two groups of frogs, recall some of the measures of central tendency in previous lessons. So A says, your first job is to make a graph graphical representation of the data. Many statistician, statistic, statisticians say that the first and most important step in analyzing any data to use is to make a graphical representation. How can a representation, representation help you analyze the data? So you are going to um, create a histogram, okay? The And the student E tool for Desmos the 2008 one is done for you, but you also should make the 2009. So go ahead and do that. Okay, when you're done, here are my histograms. Okay, 2008 is up here, 2009 is down here. So that is all that I really wanted you to look at there. 813 says, use the list of data in Prom 812 or the histograms that you and your teacher or your teacher made to continue to analyze and compare the frog jumps from 2008 and 2009. Answer the following questions. What was the range of jumps in each year? What does that tell you about the frog jumps? So if we're looking at 2008 and 2009, remember the range is the maximum minus the minimum. So go ahead and try that. Okay, if you're back with me, you've tried the range. Uh, so the maximum, you should have done 231 and a half minus 216 and a half which would have been 15 inches. And over here, you would have had 252 minus 185 and 25 hundredths. That would have been 66 and 75 hundredths inches. So therefore, we can see because 2008 has a lower range that the frogs jumped more consistently in 2008. B, what was the typical jump length of frogs each year? How do you find this value? So we're working with your other measures of central tendency. So we've done range so far. Think about um, mean and median. That's what you are going to be using here. So go ahead and try and do the mean and median. Okay, if you're back with me, you've completed the mean and median. I'm actually going to show you mine for this so I don't have to rewrite it all. So in 2008, for the median, I listed them in order from smallest to largest, and then we crossed out largest, small, or smallest, largest, smallest, largest, all the way till we had two left, 221 and a half and 227. Add them together, divide by two, we would have got 224 and 25 hundredths as my median. For your mean, you want to add up all your values together and divide by how many data points there are, which would be eight. So when I take all these values, add them up, I get 1,793 divided by eight, that is 224 and 125 thousandths. 2009, again, we're following the same pattern for median. 
lining them up smallest to greatest, and then we are crossing out. We have 223 and 25 hundredths and 226 and 75 hundredths. Add them together, divide by two, we get 225 for the median. For the mean, um, you want to add them all together, divide by how many data points there are, which is eight, and you get 225 hundredths uh, with this long decimal. So that should actually be Two hundred and twenty-five and five tenths. Okay. So C asks, were all the jumps uh, were the jumps all about the same, or were some jumps outliers? Name any outliers and explain why you think they were outliers. So go ahead. Remember, outliers are really small values or really big values. Go ahead and answer that question. Okay, hopefully you saw uh, that 2009 has two outliers. They are 185 and 25 hundredths and 252 inches. Those are our two outliers. Okay, finally one more part. D. Compare as completely as you can the 2008 jumps to the 2009 jumps. Compare the center, shape, spread, range, and outliers. Then draw conclusions. Were one frog's years, one year's frog is a better group of jumpers than the other? How do you know? So go ahead and make your conclusion. We can say, as a group, the frogs in 2009 jumped farther. However, the frogs in 2008 jumped more consistently. And we can see that from our histogram here, okay? Yes, in 2009, they jumped further, okay? Because most of their data is out here, but we have this big gap in the middle where in 2008, our histogram is all kind of right in the center with one peak. So that is your 812 lesson. Uh, if you have any questions, please make sure you email me.